Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something slightly different. Um, it is an unboxing, but it's not a subscription box. No, it isn't. It's not a subscription box today with me. Not a subscription box. It's um, something that perhaps um, a number of you seen advertised on Facebook recently. It's um, basically a range of... Um, and say not healthcare beauty products beauty products things like um, soaps and uh, moisturizers and deodorants and stuff like that but also a, um, a laundry powder sort of thing as well it's um, from a company um, in France and what they basically do is that they sort of it's like a little of that sort of like um, handmade sort of products you know handmade soaps and, and moisturizers and stuff but the interesting thing about them is that they um, basically they do like a lot of solid type um, moisturizers and soaps and, um, and shampoos that kind of thing so I guess um, there's quite a few I think these are really becoming a bit on trend at the moment because of the whole sort of backlash against using plastics and stuff like this. So anyway, they do they did like this sort of like a uh, like a discovery box, which um, includes um, like a whole range of their products. So I thought to give it a go. It was forty three euros. Um, they say it comes from France and it's a company called, you'll have to excuse me if I pronounce it correctly, is it Comma Avant or something? I have no French knowledge really, so may have been pronouncing that completely wrong. But that is the company. You, as I say, you may have seen this already on Facebook. They have been advertising with that quite, quite a lot recently. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the products. So it comes in a, uh, a box, like this like a little box. And you open it up and what you do is it comes in the bag. You pay a little bit for the bag, I think. Well, you certainly can do. Uh, you pay a little bit for the bag. And it's got writing on it, cosmetics, natural cosmetics. Uh, made by um, artisans, um, artisans, not artisans, artisans. Yeah, and it, and the company is in Marcel in France, and that is the um, yeah. I think that's the web address. If you have a look at the website, so. So I'm going to show you this actually. This is a sort of a toothpaste. I mean, I know it's in the plastic tub, which is a little bit unfortunate, but you know, it's going to be quite difficult to remove all plastic for our lives, I think, for a little while at least. But this is actually a kind of a um, sort of a loose powder type toothpaste I've never used it before I know that my brother used to use something like it it was like a sort of a smoker's toothpaste when he used to smoke um, and I guess what you do is that you sprinkle it on your um, toothbrush and then wet it moisturize it and then <coughs> moisturize it put moisture on it put some water on it and then use it Apparently it takes a little bit of getting used to, but um, from what I understand, um, a lot of people online do like using this. So, so yeah, I should look forward to um, trying that out. And the next thing I'm going to show you is this. I could pass on here. Now this, I believe, are like sort of flakes of soap. And from what I understand, anyway, what you can do is that you can put so many of them with a quantity of water in a bottle, you can shake it up, and you can use that um, as an alternative to your usual laundry powder. 
that what it looks like inside. It looks a bit of soap. And as I say, you put that in a uh, in some water and you use that as a basically um, a laundry soap. So that intrigues me. Um, I can certainly look forward to trying that out. And I think you mean in the past I have used, and in fact I'm still continuing to use um, solid shampoos and also solid sort of um, um, shower creams and stuff from from Lush because I really like Lush, and that for me works very well. I mean they tend to be a more expensive outlay, but I find that they last for such a long time that over the course of the year you save quite a lot of money. But as I say, you've got to find the money in the first place. But once you have it, it lasts some time. And I think, you know, there's probably quite a few bottles of um, laundry powder in here, for example. So next thing I'm going to show you is this, which is a deodorant. Um, I think this is a powder rather than a traditional roll-on, but... Um, I'm not sure. I mean, it certainly looks like a, a roll on when I take it out, but ah, here we go. So it's moving around a bit. Yeah, it is actually a powder. You can see on my thumb here. So this will probably last quite some time. Imagine there's a fair amount of powder in this bowl. Apparently, that works really well, according to lots of reviews. So, yeah. So it's definitely a very interesting one. I mean, I've been using um, a solid deodorant from Lush, which has worked quite well. So I'm also very intrigued to use a powder type deodorant. Now this here is like a sort of a solid moisturiser. And I think it's made out of sheer butter from what I understand. And what you can do is that you can use it for the face, for the lips, for the hands, pretty much anywhere. Again, I've been trying. I've been using a kind of like a, a solid moisturizer from Lush, which is a bit weird. That actually, I haven't got on with that one quite so well. So i have be very interested. Just interested to see how this works. So that's what it looks like. It's just a blob. So um, yeah, I shall. Um, I shall be uh, looking forward to uh, using that, trying it out. Actually, feels quite similar to the little one I've got from Lush. Maybe not quite so greasy. I find the one in, on the one I've got from Lush it sort of sits on my face and sort of a greasy film, which I'm not not desperately keen on, to be fair. So, a couple of other items in here. The first one is this. This is a solid soap. I did, uh, not solid soap, but like all solid soaps, but this is a solid shampoo. Um, I use solid shampoos for quite some time now. I find them amazingly economical compared to the uh, to the liquid based ones. Um, looking forward to trying this one out. And the good thing about like solid shampoos and stuff like this. So if you go away on, the, on the, like your travels on the plane and stuff, you don't have to worry about this silly 100 mils restriction stuff for your cosmetics and so on. So there you go. Oh, I was expecting it to be that colour. But there you go, there's your solid shampoo for you. So that's pretty good. That's kind of like sort of, it feels almost like a very solid fudge, which just seems like a very weird explanation but um description rather but yeah well, i'm looking forward to see how that compares to the solid shampoos i've tried in the past there's one last thing in here and i think this is just a just a soap for your hands, for the shower. There you go, just a block of soap. So that's it. 
Um, I said, I've been looking forward to receiving this for a while. Um, um, I, I do find, I do think it's very important to like, try to decrease the amount of plastic stuff that we have. Also, this sort of thing, although as I say, it's an expensive outlay quite often, tends to last a lot longer than the usual supermarket stuff that you find in bottles. And this is all natural stuff. I mean, it almost feels as if it's going back to when they used to like sort of handmade these things out of fats and things, uh, which is uh, basically what all modern day detergents and stuff sort of originate from. So, uh, so yeah, I really like the um, the whole sort of like natural feel to it, the sort of ethical sort of feel to it, and uh, I look forward to trying it over the next month or so. I might do a follow up review. Um, if anybody's interested in seeing that, um, if you are, please let me know and I'll come back probably next month and tell you what I thought. Um, so anyway, that's the end of this um, particular um, video. Apologies for the fact that I feel really bunged up. I sound really bunged up from around that because I've got energy central around here. It's terrible at the moment for me. Uh, summer for you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll be back soon with another unboxing video. Bye for now.